It's a Christmas miracle. Somehow, the San Francisco 49ers beat the Arizona Cardinals without the starting running back, without the starting quarterback, without the starting wide receiver, without the starting cornerback Richard Sherman, without having Nick Bosa, with having so many injuries on both offense and on defense, with having their kicker Robbie Gold literally miss almost every single kick, with also having nothing to play for because guys, the 49ers were eliminated before this game even started, considering all of that, the 49ers still somehow beat the Arizona Cardinals in a game that is going to dramatically impact the Chicago Bears playoff chances in 2020. What is up, guys? I'm back with another Chicago Bears update video. I don't really have an outline or any sort of notes for this video. I just want to give you guys like my raw reaction to what happened today. I'm in the game with the 49ers and the Cardinals because, man, that game was huge for the Chicago Bears playoff chances this year. If you guys didn't already see my other video on how the Bears can make the playoffs, this was one of the things that ha had to happen in order for the Bears to make the playoffs. Okay, the Bears before this game did not control their own destiny for the playoffs, but now we do because we needed the Arizona Cardinals to lose just one of their last two remaining games, and that's already happened, okay? They somehow lost to the 49ers with all the injuries that they had, with how they had nothing to play for. The Arizona Cardinals still somehow lost to that team, which again, I have to say, guys, that is a Christmas miracle for the Chicago Bears, because usually teams that are in the same position as the 49ers, as they were in this game, they would usually just give up and not put up much of a fight because they had nothing to actually play for. I mean, they are not going to make the playoffs this year. All that was on the line was their pride. And clearly, that means a lot to the players of the 49ers and the coaches as well. So props to the entire 49ers organization. Okay, those guys are awesome. They played their asses off. Robert Sala, defensive coordinator, he's going to get a great job somewhere else because he's a damn good defensive coordinator and a leader as well i mean they had so many players out and still put together such a great defensive performance so great job by the 49ers defense and also a big shout out to george kittle okay george kittle man in the post game press conference he said that um so he was asked about how being the arizona cardinals meant that chicago can now claim the number three wildcard spot by winning out in response he said that i will say this i grew up a bears fan and the fact that we helped the bears makes me happy then he said the bears and also after he left the press conference he was heard muttering, I effing love the Chicago Bears. My God, man. I mean, George Kittle, I love you too. Your team helped us out so much today. So George Kittle, Kyle Shanahan, anybody on the 49ers team today, I mean, if you guys ever come to Chicago again, I will personally buy you guys a beer Um, in thanks for what you did today. So again, a huge thank you to the entire 49ers organization for winning this game well actually I take that back everybody besides Robbie Gold because this man Robbie Gold our former kicker okay the guy that we all loved he stunk it up again you know when we were actually cheering for him and that's exactly what happened the last time he was in Chicago okay if you guys remember in 2015 Robbie Gold was really not that great of a kicker he missed three uh potentially game winning or game tying field goals so he cost us probably three games and today also the one time we were actually cheering for him he missed so many field goals I mean I don't have the count in front of me, but I think he missed three big ones that did cost, you know, the 49ers seven points. So, like, Robbie Go was not trying to win this game. I don't know what's up with him. Maybe he was trying to get back at us for letting go of him. But <laughs> nonetheless, the 49ers still won that game. So, again, a huge thank you to all of you 49ers fans and players. We love you so much today. But like I mentioned earlier, this makes the Bears odds of making the playoffs much, much better, okay? Because before this game... We did not control our destiny, but now we do because the 49ers won this game, okay? We need the Arizona Cardinals to lose at least one of the last two remaining games and for the Bears to win out to make the playoffs. But now that the Cardinals lost the first game against the 49ers, which nobody was expecting at all, now the Bears could still also lose to the Packers and make the playoffs as long as they win tomorrow. And also if the Cardinals lose to the Rams in Week 17, which could definitely happen given the fact that we don't even know what the health status is of Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins like both of them could be out for that game in which case that would be a tough game for the Cardinals to win because the Rams also are fighting for playoff seeding so I mean as of right now things are looking really good for the Chicago Bears okay as long as we win tomorrow which we definitely should I mean the Jacksonville Jaguars are clearly intentionally tanking I mean they took out James Robinson they took out Gardner Minshew they put in Mike Lennon they're gonna try to lose this game as long as the Bears just do not mess it up, tomorrow we are going to be in that number 7 spot in the NFC. And as long as we win against the Packers or if we lose against the Packers and if the Cardinals lose against the Rams, 
the Chicago Bears are going to be in the playoffs. I cannot believe I'm actually saying that right now. The Chicago Bears lost six straight games in a row this same season, okay? We had a 5-1 and one start. We blew that start. Everything went downhill. I mean, it seemed like the entire team was going to fall apart, but somehow things have turned around for the better, okay? After a two-game winning streak, after getting a little bit lucky as well, the Chicago Bears are now in prime position to make the playoffs this year. They control their own destiny. So, I mean, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments down below. Like, do you think the Bears now are going to make the playoffs? We have a 71% chance now of making the playoffs. And if we win tomorrow, those odds jump up to 82%. So, like, I'm not trying to be overly optimistic. I'm not trying to be delusional. I'm just saying the numbers say that we're probably going to make the playoffs this year as long as we just take care of our own business. That's been the one thing that the Bears have not done in many previous years, okay? I have too many bad memories of 2013, okay? Chris Conti blowing that coverage, Aaron Rodgers getting that game-winning touchdown to propel them to the playoffs. That was not a fun memory at all, but I honestly think, guys, things are going to be different this year because we have luck on our side as well, okay? The 49ers somehow won this game, which means that we don't even have to beat the Packers probably to make the playoffs as long as the Rams beat the Cardinals, which they probably will, in my opinion. So, sleep well, Chicago. Life is really good as a Bears fan right now. We got a Christmas gift from the 49ers, and tomorrow we play the tanking Jaguars in Mike Giraffe Neck Glennon. Let's hope we win tomorrow. Let's hope we put up 40-plus points, but let me know what you guys think down below. As always, bear down.